he's in the br- the branch or the the trunk. Uh, you start to make time. Yeah, you're going down. Uh, maybe about an hour, an hour and a half in, you come across a couple of branches, not any big enough or wide enough for you to climb up, so to speak. But they're starting to become more regular as you start going across, which you kind of you kind of deduce. Uh, even with your survival checks, I wouldn't make you roll. Um, you're probably going towards the top of the tree, which is a good sign, because if you're coming up to the top of the tree, you know there's more branches you're going to be able to try and climb up. Oh, we've lost yeah. the volume. Oh, no, no, it's just because uh, we stopped talking for a bit there. Yeah, <laughs> that was we're, a... we're, we're <laughs> yeah. Um, it's because people look in their heads for yeah, anything cool. that's... Uh, out of the ordinary or any sort of animal activity or something yeah. like that. Well, we'll say you're taken up by the the new threat of the tree, just bum bum mm-hmm. bum. We'll we'll say you you'll you don't get to roll your perception for that. Um so As this Dan- is going on Yeah. Um yeah, actually I was about to say something there. As this is going on, as I'm looking around, can we see even in the distance any other trees that have fallen like this? It's like, is, uh, are we just on this one, or is there anything even similar to this? For a, there's nothing in your immediate area, but if you make me a perception check with, uh, in fact, you've got dark vision, right? You're, you're I do, yeah. Half, or, right, yeah. Just give us a straight perception check then, because you're you're looking further into the trees. Twenty one. Fire tonight. That was a fucking good roll. Um, <laughs> wait till the combat. It's not so much you can see yeah, a tree exactly. Yeah, wait it's till I need much, to perform. It's not so much you can see a tree falling. As you're walking along, you're kind of looking, going, "That's just weird." And then all of a sudden, you see a gap. It's quite a big gap in the forest. Uh, you reckon that could be a sign of a tree falling over, but it does look very out of place. This huge gap. As you're looking along, you see trunks and trees. And then all of a sudden, boom! Just this empty gap. Of darkness uh, beyond. Is 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 there like roots or anything? Ah, uh, you can't see. It's only Sir Janice can see this. Sorry, you how you do not have dark vision uh, beyond uh, what you can see. Is this gap lining up with our tree, or is it a different gap? Hmm. Does it look as if it's fallen from us? I'll see. If, I'll not make you roll. No, certainly not. Uh, if you're okay. going up towards a tree, because you're going up towards a tree in a diagonal, you're looking this way, almost at a 90 degree angle, seeing okay. the other way. Uh, so you can see that there's a, there is an obvious gap there. Uh, to be so fair, whatever's happened here, it's you, not... Yeah, I gave you a target yeah. number of 20, and you beat it, so I, I had to give you something. <laughs> so. yeah. You gave me a tree fell over in the woods. I know, I didn't give you a tree fell over, there's just a gap. <laughs> That gap is it actually could be quite a terrifying thing when you think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ronan, what are you saying, my man? I did have the idea, but I don't think it would be very useful. My idea was if uh, Janice is, is blading this, I was going to turn around, whip an arrow out, and ask somebody if they can set the arrow light and, and then throw it into the gap. And I realised. Janice, it could are be you telling thing. people this? Um, yes, I will be. I'll turn around and just say, guys. I don't know what this means. We know that this stuff's hard to knock down. It's hard. It's hard to do anything to, apart from if you're if you're bloody gas. Apparently, you can walk through the stuff. Hmm. But there's a there should be a tree there. I'm it. sure of it. Uh, I will touch uh, the I'd... arrow and cast light on it. Yeah. Uh, so as he points out, you see the gap. Uh, you bring your arrow out. As you say, yeah. you touch light. That's great use of the spell. Uh, yeah. You want to have a uh... shoot it into the. That's what I make sure it goes far away of anything. Hope it, nothing sees it where it's coming from. Give us a just give us a normal attack with your longbow. I wonder if this is a good idea. Now we would suggest there's. Yeah, suggest That's been really, really bright. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, so you. You see the foot and you, the light as it kind of glows and you see the trees around it. Very, very, uh, very, very peculiar. You see the lights and it's kind of blinking off and on goes through the hole keeps going and then kind of bounces and then and sticks into where it goes for actually you're out you're about 85 foot up it's bounces and then boom bounces again and then starts to descend 
and dis the light disappears behind something at your foot level. Foot level. Is is this worth our time, or should we keep moving? Whatever's knocked this tree down is powerful. If this is a one-time thing, then we're probably safe. We're, there's no reason for it to come back. But if this has happened before, we don't know what we don't know what that means. But that's that's a problem. I'm Something that can green. cut down an iron oak. See when, see when I see mm. the arrow going through, do I see, like, do I see what was on the ground? Or was it well, leveled at another? With, with the light, because you don't have dark vision, you can see the light, but you can't see yeah. beyond uh, from there. You see it bouncing. Now, uh, yeah. I, I can't give you anything other than that, sorry. Just because, uh, again, you're human. Uh, it's a case of boom. I do, I do have, I do have a spell, the spell uh, dark vision that I casted, but I don't think it uh, no, that's fine. Uh, yeah. If you want to do that, you can. We'll say you've cast a spell, so you can see as you fire the fire right, arrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I've so, cast it as I shoot it. Aye. Yeah, so with the dark vision, it makes sense to have it down here as well. So with the dark vision, uh, pew, you fire it. Uh, you can see. Yeah, it, it seems to be about it bounced off the trunk of an iron oak, and then mm. in the third, it kind of overshot the iron oak and just went down into the. The floor below. That's why you can't see the much of the light left. Alright, so it's the same trunk we're on? No. It's a, a different totally trunk? different trunk, yeah. This so is sorry, um, probably, this is probably 100, 120, uh, no, because your dark vision's 60, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. so I so would say about 100, 120 feet forward uh, mm -hmm. from your position, and it's boom, boom, and then the, the light goes uh, goes as it, um, the arrow from that, from that, I'm going to assume there may be be in, might be another tree that's knocked down further down, and I'm going to say, well, let's keep moving. I know that's going to attract attention. Can yeah, does... indeed it does. Yeah. Uh, can you make me, uh, just give me a roll, a uh, uh, normal d20 roll, mate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, oh, Who would have ever guessed, like, like, shooting a big light bolt into the darkness would draw <laughs> things to us? <laughs> it's a mystery. That's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Keep moving. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, if you just keep moving, uh, you start to go further. Uh, another hour, hour and a half in, uh, you start to see a wee bit more light coming in uh, as you're coming up to round about what we would call afternoon in Florium. Uh, for those who know the who knows who know the lore and have chosen to write it down because I give you so much lore dump. Fuckers. Now you can just uh, watch the shooting and you end up right nothing down anymore. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't uh, need yeah, to write so... down your mates all the time. Uh, yeah, there's um, there's more and more branches as you're as you're coming across. There is seems to be a wee bit more, more closer together. You're maybe talking about ten twenty feet, and then the closer you get, another hour in. Uh, they're they're starting to get five foot across. So, if you were going to climb, this is probably the best time to do it. Should we climb. Instead of the venomous tree. Because I'm a, not particularly strong. Could you perhaps connect a rope to me of some kind? I'm, I'm going to take my rope and put it. Sorry, we the... don't have a rope as he pulls out a rope. Now, I'm still going <laughs> melt you with my godly powers. So perhaps we should play nice till we're out of here. Until you're out here. I like that. <laughs> well, I'm the only one that can heal you, apart from Daphne. <laughs> Apart and from Daphne, time, bandages, doctors. <laughs> well, you say that to me when you've got an arrow How sticking about, out of your throat. How about nobody murder nobody until we're out of here, please? Um, and on my three hearts, no I promise I will not kill Meldrum for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Ronan. Means like in the next ten minutes. <laughs> I guess so, uh, Ronan, make a survival check, mate. I I do I have rope? Then I can just tie uh, it. Make me a wisdom make me a wisdom saving for all Ronan. Oh boy. Okay. So um so I hate when he's happy. To, everybody starts to tie everyone together. Uh Ronan is your who are you tying yourself to? Are you tying someone uh, yourself to someone? 
marital ideals we're going to take my rope, tie it like with a good night. and to hey. and to uh, Ralph. Oh, Sally. So you turn to Ralph. I didn't know you felt this way. Oh, <laughs> Ronan to Ralph, right? Um, Belgrim, who are you, you tying yourself to? <laughs> if you're tying yourself to anybody. Uh, I will just decide to climb myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tie myself to the tree. He likes and, to like, go solo. Uh, and, like, he doesn't. I was, I was going to be that. No. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, the, maybe the dwarf should also tie himself to Ralph. I mean, the two of us can, you know, help. <sighs> Make me a persuasion check, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> At disadvantage. <laughs> persuasion, right? No, no, no disadvantage. I just want to see if he does it. It would be amazing if he did. Un. Oh. <laughs> now, if you wish to fight this, you, uh, Melgrum, you can make an insight check. Just for the shits. <laughs> um. Do it. That's always fun. <laughs> as much as you would like to leave him behind, Ronan persuades you. How, how do you persuade him, Ronan? <laughs> what do you say to persuade Come him? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm going to say, Ron, you still seem like you've been through a lot. Just, you know, help a brother out. Um, you're not being very convincing, but. Um, the way you say it like reminds them of Vanon and Nim and how they would try and make him try and be friends with Ralph and he feels sad. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> so Ralph. Fair enough. Uh, oh, and God. He goes over. Meldrum has feelings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's no longer cool. Meldrum has feelings. I don't like him anymore. So, um, yeah. And then he'll go and um, tie himself to Ralph. Um, however, he has not tied Ralph tightly. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Ralph, I'm joking with that one. will make sure that it is a very yeah. strong knot. You are, conv you are convinced to do it. Uh, so, as is anyone else helping anyone out? I mean, I'm sure a lot of you won't have a very good athletics. I no, I go with Gaz. Can I, I? I have a zero to my athletics. Yeah, yeah, you um, certainly. If you want to tie yourself to Daphne, if you want to tie yourself to can Gaz. I, can I use my acrobatics? Can I cartwheel up the tree? No, it's not <laughs> happening, unfortunately. I've got quite any roles, good so athletics. Don't, don't so. make any rolls, and also I won't count, I won't count that athletics roll. So oh, Gaz and Daphne, uh, you'll have Ronan. Actually, we won't have Ronan because I'm about to do something. So Ralph. You wanted me to do my athletics. Tight to Melgrim. Not yet, not yet. I'll not count that one either. Okay. Uh, Shows that. That important plot point uh, before we go. Um, uh, and I'm soon. Uh, Sir Grandy and Nyla will be okay to climb yeah. themselves. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to give it a shot. I, th I think that would be an interesting story to tell. What Why could not? go wrong? So, I feel like you're gonna um, squirrel it and go. Ah! Yeah. And land on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> as you kind of smile at the prospect of managing to convince this, this dwarf who clearly hates this turtle and vice versa, you kind of smile at yourself as you start to tie yourself to Ralph and then you kind of stop. Sandwich. Something not right. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's something not right here, Ronan. <laughs> there's a reason why you're down here and now you're just going to leave. God, why I mean, are you this down here? This is the, the, the first time. Yeah, this is the first time in a long time, even in three months, that you've not had much danger. I mean, fair enough. Yeah. The foot going through the tree. That's something you've seen before. But you haven't been attacked. There's not been a lot of creatures around here. It's been very quiet as well. You haven't really noticed, but it has been quiet as well. And now you're just going to leave. You've got something you need to do. I want more you information just on this. You just, you just cannot leave, Ronan. So you just stop. Sally, you, you told us stop. last week. Yeah, you literally stop <laughs> yourself I'm, from tying yourself to Ralph. To the... yeah. As you, as you start <laughs> running over your head, it says, you, you can't leave, you can't go. 